G'day and welcome to episode 73, where we finish our time on the premiere. Thanks to all our patrons for making these videos possible. If you'd like to help out, hit the button in the top right or check the link in the description. In the last episode, we checked out a 3,000 year old fort, camped by the Panj River before heading into the mountains again. In this episode, we followed the saturated tracks north over the mountains to the capital, Dushanbe. So we had hoped for a beautiful sunny morning up in our camp spot, but when we woke up, the weather had made a turn for the worse and there's a big thunderstorm rolling in, so we've actually packed up quickly and decided to get off the mountain because a bit of moisture in these parts can lead to rock slides and and um, and the road kind of turns to mess so we'll hopefully just push over this pass and we'll see what the weather's like on the other side and we might stop and make some breakfast. Well, you just drove into an iceberg. Iceberg? <laughs> iceberg on the mountain? Yeah. yeah. It's a bit of a miserable day. Very wet. We've been following the northern route back to Dushanbe, um, following the M41, and following the GPS, it has taken us to a landslide. So there was another route which we could take, which went through some small villages, so I think we have to turn back. I think it's like about 10 k's back to the turn off. Um, so yeah, definitely don't think we can drive over that one. It's a big landslide. So yeah, the road starts here. And it's over there. Oh, there we go. We just seen um, a new track which has been cut in just down the road from where we um, turned around. So it leads to a bridge. So there's this bridge here. And then there's another landslide, but I'm pretty sure that we can get around it. We just asked a local and he seemed to think we could. Which is good, we didn't have to drive back like 10 very slow kilometers, so. It's a fun track there. Yeah, it's like really fresh. It's very cool. It's so beautiful here. Yeah. There's a bit of a river crossing we need to do as well. Which might be interesting to see how deep it is. Yeah, this little one down here. And then you go over there and then you cross the bridge. That was super slippery. The uh, the back was slipping down towards the edge there. Thankfully, the um, muddy part's all gone now. Yeah, it's all dried out now. Made it through. Yay! Hopefully, no more landslides. <laughs>
turn back onto the main road now. I think it's going to be like this till the Jumbo, so put some air back in the tyres. Now we're on a nice sealed surface. I hope like that one, Hero. Yeah. It was, uh, it was fun. It's good when it's gravel. Yeah. Yeah, when, it, when it's dirt, it's okay. When they, they grade it a bit, but where they've sealed it and just haven't maintained it, just the whole, the whole way. exploration work uh, in the hills outside of the Shambo so the city's just down here and we're just gonna set up camp here and I think actually all these trees are lime trees so maybe I'll infuse my water tomorrow good find <laughs> thanks for driving us here <laughs> you've got stuff all in your hair <laughs> track up pretty narrow there for a bit yeah the trees decide to come inside yeah, it's filthy. <laughs> oh well, it's a little oh, fun. It's still great to see. <laughs> this camp spot has been very lovely. Um, yeah, last night we got to sort of watch the sunset, um, but it was more watching an electrical storm start, which then turned into a huge thunderstorm. Um, so yeah, that entertained us for a few hours last night. And then again this morning, there was another one and there's actually another one creeping up from the south over the city um but yeah so our our sim card isn't really working um so it's sort of stopping us from working doing some work and catching up on the videos and stuff like that and also yeah with all this rain the it's very intermittent sun um so yeah we're thinking we're gonna head down and go and check out a hostel to maybe stay out for a couple of nights so that we can catch up on everything um but yeah it's a bit unfortunate because i really like this spot it's absolutely beautiful up here um so yeah we're gonna i think quickly pack up and try and beat this storm so we can get down the hill before it gets too slippery yes but yeah really liked it up here the view is lovely really beautiful This is the hostel which we came down to. Um, we've actually been here for a few days now, um, working our butts off trying to catch up on the episodes. Um, but yeah, we're actually just about to head out. We need to go and get um, two different sorts of oil for the car. Um, but I'll let Mark go into a bit further detail on that. But yeah, we've been in the been in the mountains for about a month now, um, and it's been awesome having that time just to be at, in nature and um, be disconnected a little bit. But yeah. You know, you got to come back and check in every now and again, and it was good. It's been amazing just catching up on all the videos. So, um, we still got a lot of catching up to do, but getting there slowly. Um, but yeah, so we're just about to head out now. We just packed the car down, so we're going to go do that, and then we'll come back here for one more night, and then we're heading north. some pretty uh, non-conclusive directions yesterday about where this oil is so the guy just said that it's near the cement factory so we're just gonna go and check it out I've got his number in case we can't find it um, but yeah apparently it's just in the vicinity of the vicinity the area of the, of the cement factory hopefully it's not too hard to find Here than 
what it is in Kyrgyzstan um, but then once we get to Uzbekistan diesel is pretty much all on the black market apparently so yeah we've got to get all the diesel that we can from here um, and this is from Gazprom which is the same fuel station which we went to in Kyrgyzstan Probably the sixth or maybe eighth, I don't know, oil shop. Um, none of them have seemed to have the one which Mark's looking for. Um, so, yeah, this one, the guy just came to look under the car, so maybe it's a good sign. He's nodding. I don't know, fingers crossed. But yeah, we haven't had much luck this afternoon, unfortunately. It's been a bit of a Goose chase around the Shambo, but anyway. because there's a bit of a sound coming from the front frontal region when we're four-wheel driving. It's only a small hum, but um, obviously we like to investigate all, all these new sounds, which when, you, when you're doing a trip like ours, they come up every now and then. So um, I re-greased everything underneath this morning, all the drive shafts. I uh, did the suspension too while I was there, and now we're just dropping the oil out of the front diff. Um, just trying to start to eliminate what it could be. When we dropped the oil, the um, cap didn't have any any metal filings or anything on it, so it's good to know that the, the internals hopefully are still all in one piece. Um, and considering what we had done in Pakistan with uh, rebuilding the swivel hubs, it, there may have been some, some damage in there, so we'll do the oil now and see if that gets rid of the noise. Um, if it is still there, I'll just I'll take the drive shaft out and lock it in full drive and just go for a drive and just see if it's um, still there. That'll be the next step. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the new oil fixes things though, and it might have just been old oil, bad oil. Um, or it still was topped up, so he's hoping that it fixes it before we go north, so we can still hit the tracks. Say thank you to your parents for us. Your father, yeah, thank you. tell your father thank you. It's really now in Moscow. All right. All right. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 See you next time. <laughs> so we've just left the hostel and um, we were staying at City Hostel, which we just found on Hostel World, um, and it was an awesome place to base yourself for a few days while we're in town. And we just, yeah, it was awesome just being able to catch up on everything. Um, and then yeah, if you are in town and you've got a car, there's only really space for like two, maximum three cars, probably our cars, the biggest that you get in there. Um, and yeah, heaps of space for bikes and stuff like that, and the guys there are just so lovely, it's a family run business. Um, but yeah, before we head out of town, we've got to go and do a big grocery shop because we have no food left. And then we're heading north to Aluden, Aluden? Aluden Lake, uh, which is about 120 or 130 k's north from Dushanbe and we get to go through the Tunnel of Death. We've just pulled up at the supermarket which is just over in this building and I just wanted to bring attention to the parking which we've <laughs> noticed is kind of like the standard since we entered Central Asia like you know you've got these organized parks where people just pull in wherever they want and it's just like oh yeah he's good. It's actually really entertaining to watch when you're on the main street because like people just pull in anywhere and that's it. Looks good. <laughs> She'll be right. I just picked up a whole ton of raspberries for not even a dollar. They are the cheapest raspberries I've ever bought in my life. So 
So I'm pretty happy about that. That's one win for today. <laughs> That's it for this episode. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.